Over to A Division where we will have a new champion as we have the Evil Empire take on the Lock Monsters. Welcome to the RBHL, Daniel Wilson here. Well, here we are again. Evil Empire, just stay resilient even with the regular season. This is the second season in a row where they have a bad season, but they pull out a huge upset in the playoffs. It happened for the second time in a row against the Bayhawks, who were last, um, the champions from last year. But will they be able to go all the way through this time? The Evil Empire made it to the final last year, but had fallen short to the Whalers. Now, Long Monsters, they're coming in seemingly stronger than ever. They're looking for their second title in the A Division. I have to stress that, their second title. But it is going to be one of those things where I'm looking for that resiliency to continue for the Evil Empire. Let's see what they need as we go to the breakdown. We'll start over with the Evil Empire, Barrett Modi with two goals, six assists, eight points total in the regular season. Scoring has been coming at a premium for them in the in the regular season. Mark Amoshi, not one of his best seasons at a three. 97 goal against average and an 871 save percentage. But he has pulled through for them in the past, and they, he certainly has back in the semifinal, and they're going to need that energy again against the Lock Monsters. Their biggest weakness has been they've been late starters. They had only scored three goals in the first period and allowed 14. For the Lock Monsters, a lot of players uh, with... Double-digit points. Brian Ingram being the most notable. Most of those come from assists with 10. He's got 17 points for the season. Seven goals under his belt. Team leader on points, or goals rather, is Nick Vela with eight. He has 15 points total. Tony DiGiacomo, probably one of his best seasons all around, even though he comes in at a 6-1-1 record. He has a one 0.47 goal against average and a 945 save percentage. One of the highest ones we've seen, and he did come away with three shutouts. So who will come away with the title? The ball drop is next. solid moment uh, before the start of today's game. Former Empire member did seem to be passed away. This will be a very emotional game for the, uh, for the Empire. So we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to get through this game without cracking up. Um, <laughs> this will be a very important game for an Evil Empire. As no number four seeds upset the number one seeds once again. We are underway in the A final. 
comes back around. Kevin Frost. Take on himself, winds up for a shot, goes wide of the net. Gino Giangreco behind the net. Takes it behind Barry Modi. Centers up Ryan Reich, plays off the boards. And thrown right back in, and a save by Kamoshi. Gian Greco again, sends it up, intercepted by Frost. And now he'll just throw it back to the right. DJ Goodwin holds back, now backhands it up. Gian Greco plays around. Baron Modi, tries to up, intercepted, driving a net, and could not get a shot. And he goes down, our call coming. Guys, set the tone here. Good start. Hey, good start. I was, I was trying to see if there was a, a trip somewhere because uh, someone went down, but it looks like no because the draw is coming back to neutral. Off the draw it is. Empire control. Gian Greco plays it up. Right. Intercepted by Goodwin. Gave it away. Baramoti. Gives it back to Goodwin. Off the left boards. Ingram. Who was chosen as most improved player. Only played a couple of games last season, but came in with the team lead on goals, or points for that matter. It comes back. DJ Goodwin being pursued around the boards. Gerslin almost gave it away up in the air, and it hits the high danger area in front of Digiacomo, and we'll have a face off. Good work. Just high intensity, guys. Everybody short. Comes back. Shot going wide from Matt Neff. Neff had been playing through the B Leagues last season. Got the shot of an A player. Here's Baron Modi. And dragging Tyler Jackson with him. There's an attack by the Log Monsters, gets blocked by Modi. But Jackson plays it back around the boards. Watch the number 10, Michael Rea. He's made a big impact on scoring this season. Comes back to the line, gets right by Kevin Frost. Run right back up. Ryan Reich trying to take around a couple. Has one more to beat and just off the pad of DiGiacomo. Off the boards. Zalo. Well, Pagan himself. And now throws it off the right boards. Good team, good team. Back behind the net, Gian Greco. Sent around looking for Neff. And left it for Stella. Overshot it. It's Frost. Coming into the corner. Center is up and it's blocked. Stella. Still just clear the zone. And the Lock Monsters put it right back down. Stretch pass, looking for Catherine Murphy, who was given the Purple Heart Bowl for her perseverance after sustaining a leg injury and coming back quicker than expected. Off the left board, Barbada going down hard was Ryan Reich. The play continues on into the corner. It's back to Velo. A shot going wide. Here's a lift going down the floor. No ice is that what's going to hit the Giacomo. Uh, the board's taken away. Blocked by Gerslin. Uh, just throw it up the left boards. Barbado across his right. Ebner. He'll just throw one into the left corner. Look at for possession there and now throws it back to the corner. Centering pass. Abner, it's blocked, the ball hits the ceiling in the neutral zone. 
B.J. Goodwin will just throw it right back, and it goes out of play with 5.55 left. Yeah, thank you. They're going to take this one all the way back to neutral. Back to Modi. Throws it back down. Around the board. Behind the net. Modi still working at it. Ahmed in the corner. Spins off of one, gave it away. Back to the opposite corner. Ingram. Still looking for possession. Centers! Where is it? Underneath. Kamoshi, no call. It is under his pad. And it's back. Modi will just throw it around the boards. Down and at center. Take it away by Rhea. We'll try to center one up off the of body. We'll just throw it back around. With another shot and Kamoshi makes sure that steered it away. Halfway through the period. As Poppin centers out to right. Wide open. Yankee Doodle Danny saved by DiGiacomo. That is why he was given the mesquite ball for best goalie. Did he just slash the stick out of his hands? I don't know. Hey, good shot from the also. Good shot, man. Look at his stick up out of his hands. Goes back. Hey, right here. Right here. First one, tried to lift it up, hit it. Stella, and here's Jackson the other way. Jackson will try to throw one. Goes wide of the net. Ryan Wright trying to clear it. Tries again. And goes out to Goodwin. Here's Kersland. Trying to look for an opening. Trying to drive the net. Blocked by Wright. Into the corner. Still looking for a possession. Comes out. A couple of times into the corner by Mike Schaefer. Played around the boards. It's Dean Walker. Oh, diving play by Wright. Comes down all the way for icing against the Empire. I thought it was right to the bottom. Off the draw. Balo. Takes it back. Shot in a save by Kamoshi. Looked like he didn't read it. Comes back to Velo. Velo waiting for an option. Now plays off the boards. And will find BJ Goodwin. It will throw it into the right corner. Comes back. Gave it away. Mike Schaefer in his own slot. Looking to clear. Does so, but it'll be icing. Oh, 
Comes back to the center line. Frost unable to handle. Comes back into neutral. Throws it up. Rhea. Deeks around into the corner. Now pinned. Our fine help does get away. Looking to go low circle. Takes it behind the net. And pops up behind the net. That's not considered the high danger area we play on. Trying to hang on Murphy with control. Murphy plays it up to the left. Now try to send it back. Intercepted by Reich. He gets around one. Throws it to the right corner. At Murphy. Trying to send one off the side of the net. Can't find it. And Matt Ness moving in. Playing off the side, taking away. And a quick shot wide of the net. Frost trying to play it around. Gerslin. Off the boards, Barbado. Trying to stretch it up and gets Rhea. Out deeks himself. But he recovers off the circle. What a deke! And almost has something toward the net. But a great defensive play. Ahmed hanging on, less than two remaining in the period. Pushed around, comes back. You see the lock monsters resetting, taking her time. Now plays right to Frost. He'll just throw it into the right corner. Takes a bounce and leaves it for Modi. Behind the net. Now throws one through the middle. Nobody touched it. It's icing. Deke around a couple of times, can't find anything. Comes back. Over to right. He'll just throw one on wide of the net, looking to cover, and he will with 59 seconds. Hey. Come on. Wait a minute. Hey, you're right here, Ty. Yeah, right. come through, come through. Gonna come back to center, but Gerslin will get there. Lifts it up. Dan Greco off the right board. Finds his way to Hoffman. Throws it across, intercepted. Center's up. There's a shot wide of the net. Jackson with that shot in here is Reich on a three on two partial comes right. 30 seconds left. Hoffman. Right, throw one on. Can't find a lane now. It's thrown back to neutral. Gian Greco tries to throw it back up as everyone tags. Good win off the right boards. Walker. Can't get around Modi. Pin to the boards. 10 seconds left. Back to Hoffman. He'll try a shot safe. Right front. Second chance goes wide. And that will be period. So a couple of flashes by the goalies. Well, we enter the first intermission with no score. Second period ready. Back underway. Bell looking to hang on, now crosses. Gave it away to Barbada. Gonna throw one off the end boards. Komoshi just decides to take the cover.
Matter of fact, wind up from Frost. Wind up again, yeah, you keep doing it again. He's saved by Komoshi. So the goalies just consider themselves even. Another shot gets blocked. Back the other way, Stella. And offside is the call, this will come back. Sorry, BJ. <laughs> Quick shot saved by Kamoshi. Excuse me, DiGiacomo. Good back. Abner can't get around Neff. Neff will just push it down, block. Tries again. There's another shot going wide of DiGiacomo. Here. Back here is Reich, shot blocked. Reich centering up, wide open, shot goes high. Rebound attempt cleared away by Gerslin. Time to clear, held in. Well, he's back, quick shot, blocked. On your back, Pat. Barbado. Good. Off the right, and here's Ahmed spins around. Neff putting the pressure on. Mike, coming in. Sadiq, coming in. Tries to All go right. around the boards. Yeah! Oh my goodness! How did that get in? An impossible angle from the corner. Ryan Ingram somehow gets the Lockbusters first blood. off a deflection from an impossible angle. <laughs> so Ingram once again continues to pile up on the points column. Hoffman loses control for a moment to take a light shove from Ahmed. Look back, Balo. Here's Frost going back across. Velo goes off, intended for Ahmed, gave it away to Neff. Looking to throw one on. Digiacomo will leave it for Kevin Frost. Looks on up and off of Velo, who lost sight of it for a moment. Here's Hoffman. Shot goes wide. Right, tries to center up, intercepted, plays it back, around the board. Sneed Ahmed. Trying to hang on, and Matt Neff takes over. He'll just throw it around. This play is through center. Velo, three on two, shot and a save. Rebound attempt will not happen. Oh, they give it back to Velo again. Shot goes wide. Ahmed. From the circle, now tries to drop down. Can't find anyone. Back and forth they go. Gave it away. Here's Reich. If he can hang on, he does. He'll just lift it in. DiGiacomo will drop it off to Frost. Just throw it left. Centers up to Ebner. He'll try a shot. Blocked. Velo tries one. Can't get it. They all collide on the boards. Still trying to sew it up. Ebner unable. Here's Modi. Modi tries a shot and a save by DiGiacomo. BJ Goodwin will take the package and head it left. Here's right down. 
And I gave it away. I may have misidentified one player, I believe. That's actually Chris Young in the number eight. I may be wrong, but his number's not in there. Look out there! Grabbing around! Oh! The stick came off of Komoshi. There's no call. The Log Monsters won a penalty shot. They're not going to get it. They, we'll take another look at that. You be the judge. Did he throw the stick? The refs say no. Comes back around. Murphy. Noah Gerslin into the corner. Back the other way. Here's Jackson. Turn across Ebner a little too hot. Into the corner. Michael Rea. Back behind the net. Gerslin. Pressure. Make sure. Good play. Going right back down. Tries a rush shot wide of the net. Rhea. We'll just Nate. go back behind Nate. the net looking for a wraparound. Shot. Oh. Save it. Almost had a redirect by Jackson. Hey, you got point. You got point. Play, play. Whoa. And yeah, big collision up. onto the board. And we. The hand is up. A delayed penalty against the Empire. Extra attacker is on. Frost comes on. It's a shot from Goodwin, deflected high, and will be knocked down at a power play coming to the Lock Monsters. Let's put Pat and Brian out. Let's go guys, make this one count. So a chance to extend the lead. I can take either I can take anyone that comes off first. It's actually okay. Oh, false start. We'll try again. That's so back. And yes, I did mis misidentify number eight for the Empire West, Chris Young. But for some reason, was not on my roster in front of me. Move, move, move. Yeah, it goes back around. I, ha I have seen Eric Hoffman wear the number eight before, so that's where the confusion lies. Here's BJ Goodwin plays around the boards. A minute left on the power play. Not much going on. And now a shot from Goodwin save by Kamoshi. Cross. Back to the corner. Now back to Velo. He'll try one. Blocked by Reich. He'll clear. Less than three remaining on the period. 35 on the penalty. Goes off the left boards. Plays around. Ross just hangs on. 20 seconds left on the power play. Velo. Nice. Just cross over. Cross, pump out. Pump out. Thinking about it now. Goes back to Frost. He'll try to shot oh. off the. Just glanced off the outside of the post. Five seconds left. Goes back to the circle. Trying to go across. Block. That'll do it for the penalty. Even. Even. Going to be Mike Schaefer. Out of the box. Here's Modi, shot and a save. Just back along the boards. Halo. Right, here's a shot save by Kamoshi. Uh, 
And about the bat, the Empire. We're gonna get back on the attack. Less than two remaining in the period. The cross gave it away to Ahmed. But good defensive work. Here's Schaefer. Trying to break through, unable. Ahmed off the right boards. Just gets around. Matt Neff goes back behind the net. Looking for an option, crosses over. Yeah, Gian Greco now gets a return. Neff off the boards, overshot it, gave it away to Ahmed. Off the boards to Rhea. Back behind the net. He'll circle around, off the outside of the net. Glove, oh man, Murphy was trying to glove it down. Couldn't. Back and forth at neutral and they will clear. Walker hustling down, taking a look. No immediate danger. It goes down the left boards. Now going across to Ahmed. He'll try a shot, blocked. Attempt to clear, successful. Goes back. Here's Walker. He'll try shot save by Kaboshi. And oh, thrown down to the floor, but no call. We've seen plenty of that in this game. Goes back behind the net. A quick shot through the screen and caught pad on Kamoshi. Not much time remaining. Comes back behind the net. Eat it. As Reich will just kill the rest of the clock. And that will do it for period number two. The only goal from Brian Ingram. one nothing Lock Monsters after two. Third period about to start. Ingram, the only one that has scored a goal this game. Empire need a push as we get underway in the third period. We're on down the floor into the corner. Baramodi trying to set it upward, unable. As they come together and neutral, Young. Uh, hang on and just get some help. Murphy, or just a poke check, sends it in the slot. Can't find anyone. Barbado. Send it down the floor as it's off the boards. Jackson throws it back down. Wright trying to take control. Ingram in the left corner. They're trying to throw the same shot that he did. On the, on the only goal of the game, through that corner. Tries to throw it to center, no one available. Modi back over to Murphy. They collide in front of the Log Monster bench. Back and forth, here's Ingram, trying to get around, unable. And they'll just throw it right back down. Log Monster's gonna change, Gian Greco. Taking himself. Gave it away. Throw it back. Ebner in the left corner. Tries to center up. Intercepted. We'll throw it back over to Chris Young. We'll just throw one on. Save by Digiacomo. Tries to throw it up to Gerslin. Off a of body. Maybe a chance the other way. Shot goes wide. As Reich slides in, trying to. Keep the play alive. They give it away again. Here's a shot. Oh my goodness. That caught Gerslin in the in no man's land. There's a shot. It's blocked. Certainly hope that he was wearing a cup on that shot. In the meantime, a bit of contact near the net. 
Two on one, Empire throwing every bit of aggressiveness at them. And now here they come on a two on one. Ahmed, he'll pass one across, intercepted by Gian Greco. Is Benilo. We'll just throw one off the backboards. What if? Put it right back down the floor. Will this be icing? Yes, it will. 719 left. No, a 30 and coming. Okay. You okay, no? Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Shot total is currently 18 to 9 in favor of the Lock Monsters. As that gets lifted up. And this will not be icing as it'll hit this Giacomo. Here's Goodwin. Back to the right corner. Back behind it over to Gian Greco for the Empire. Throws left. Right, throws a shot, deflected. On the safety screen, back behind the net, sliding across his right. Can't get control. Three on two for the Log Monsters. Jackson on a wide angle, misses wide. Here's Barbado, high slot, goes for a shot and it goes out of play. Back to the Empire, Modi around Goodwin. Modi behind the net, gets it away, was looking for Neff. Gave it away again, DJ Goodwin. We'll just throw it back down the floor. 6.15 left, Kamoshi. Little indecision there as it comes in front of the net. Battle guys, battle. Barbado. Takes it behind the net, pressure by Modi. Throws it right back to the point. Goodwin with a shot, goes wide. Still alive outside the net. Taking it into the corner. Now centers up to Goodwin, a little too hot. Goes back to Rhea. Behind the net, looking for an option. Lanes are blocked. Now a shot goes wide from Barbado. Another shot gets blocked by Neff. Here's right. Throws it back down. And off of Kamoshi, we'll just leave it for Neff. Now stretch pass. Finds Ryan Wright. Now drops back. Young with a shot going wide. Comes over to Stella. Contact along the boards with Walker. Time, time, time. Back the other way for the Log Monsters. Plays it off the boards. And will be covered up by Kamoshi with 4.53 left. Goes back off the boards and will be cleared out. No ice. It was tipped. Did Giacomo try to play away? He can't handle it. Modi in the corner, centers up and knocked away by Di Giacomo. And now body contact. Ross gets it up to Ahmed on a three on one. He'll take a shot, save, rebound, oh, block. Gian Greco at the right place at the right time. But the Log Monsters still apply pressure and another save. Statue of Liberty style by Kamoshi. Okay. 
Goes back up in front of the bench. Murphy, just throw it on net and Ditch Yakimo will just take the cover. 4 11 left. Hey, four minutes, twin minutes. Goes back off of the stick of Dan Greco, just hangs on. There's a shot save and covers up just before Wright could get a shot. Uh, the draw back to Neff, shot in the high danger area. We'll have another face off. Come on, guys. Goes back. Blocked by Rhea. Neff keeps it alive, drops it back, shot off the post. Oh, the Empire came close to tying the game. Once again, Fifi. Just being unrelenting no matter which team you are. Tries, and the shot goes back to the center line. Cycling. Now just throw it into the right corner. Approaching three minutes left in regulation. Barbado sends it back down. Rhea sends it off. Rhea. A backhand and Bugatti scores! Make that two for Brian Ingram. Two nothing, Lock Monsters. Ingram left all alone at the doorstep. And now the Log Monsters, three minutes away from getting their first A Division title. Ebner, and now we'll have to see if the Empire go to pull Kamoshi. I would have to think that they have to do it sooner rather than later. Meanwhile, Stella throws it up. It'll be icing against the Empire. Two forty-three. That's it. Quick shot, and now it's steered away by Kamoshi. Let's back over into the corner. Stella throws it back. Dan Greco trying to go for Modi, misses him, and another icing. This is doing nothing but waste time for the Empire. Shots are 27 to 14 in favor of the Log Monsters, and that that pretty much tells the story. It's just been an overload type of game for the Log Monsters. Gave it away back into the left corner. Ebner. Back to the corner again. Throws it back around. Look out here! Shot at a save! Trying to get a rebound opportunity. Unable. Goes back. Shot save up in the air! Comes back behind. 
Throws it back in front and right with control. Keep an eye on Kamoshi. Here's Modi. They're not pulling him yet. As the shot goes wide, trying to look for a rebound. Unable. Young trying to hang on. They can't. As it goes right back down and over to Kamoshi. Probably a good thing they did keep him there. Now trying to chip forward. And now Kamoshi's head to the bench. Extra attacker on. And now look around, around by Reich, and it's saved by Did Giacomo. As they try to clear out, they do. It will be icing with 58 seconds left. The Empire's offense hasn't exactly been lighting the lamp all this season, but they're going to need it now. With They're going to need two in order to keep this game going. Hey, you're up here, Chris. Chris. And the Empire are going to call their timeout. I would have to imagine that they would have to be thinking through everything. Before the timeout, they had Modi, Gian Greco, Young, Murphy, Reich, and Neff on the floor. Now the question is, are they going to stay with that line or are they going to make some changes? Now, should the Log Monsters hang on to that 2 nothing score, it'll be their first division title. They've won plenty in the B division, but this will be their first A division title. Hey, same thing. back. Looking for a shot. Unable. Cleared back around the boards. Ebner with the empty net. They're going to let play go on. And wide open net for Araya. It's blocked. Jim Greco trying to get away from the net. Jim gave it away to Goodwin. Shot blocked by Jim Greco. That was Neff, actually. Good play, Mikey. Trying to look for a wraparound. Now pinned to the boards. This is just killing time. This is exactly what the Log Monsters want. They're still fighting in front of their own net. There it is. Ten Ooh. seconds left. Goes back to the slot. Shot is blocked, but it will not matter. For the first time in their history, the Long Monsters have won an A Division title. Guys, run. 
guys. Four. Who we got, Daniel? Who we got? All right, for this Oak Bowl winner, I have to go to the one. This may be a favorite uh, for this season. Tony DiGiacomo. So, Rock Monsters, at least they're correcting me, it's their second title in the A Division. And they will continue to celebrate. We'll be back to wrap this one up. Here with Tony uh, DiGiacomo, and uh, yeah, I was just told by Kevin Frost that uh, they won their first title like about four years ago, so it's no wonder I didn't remember that. Uh, but Tony, um, you played defense for quite a while. You were um, a goaltender um, years ago, but you came back to the goalie position. You haven't, um, you haven't lost any of your skill. <laughs> uh, it's good to hear. Uh, I've always filled in for goal. I grew up playing goalie. Uh, so I was just filling down then, so it felt good to get a season of consistent playing. That way uh, I, I could really help me in So, so which, which do you prefer, defensive position or, or in the net? Goalie. Yeah, you prefer the goalie. I don't blame you for that. Uh, after the performance that we, we just see there, uh, yeah, I, I don't blame you. You, you, you know, you're a goalie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a good season, but uh, just want to see Division Finals, see how that went. Uh, but, uh, so... So with that, um, this has been um, a pretty solid weekend. Uh, we did lose uh, David St. Louis uh, this past week. Um, uh, what, um, what memories do you have? Uh, I love playing pickup with David. I was never on the same team with him, but I love playing pickup. He was always he would always be on line with me because he, he used to tell me he liked playing with me because I wasn't himself. And Dave was the same way, not selfish. He was a great player, great guy. Uh, we're going to miss him around here. Yeah, yeah certainly. And uh, I, th I think we call it that an honor that we got to play against his team today. Um, yeah, that, I think that was one way of honoring uh, the memory of uh, David St. Louis here. So, uh, someone that we're going to miss very much over here. So that's going to do it here. Uh, so be sure to check out the B and C Division Finals. And like I said, we will have the NBA Chelsea season coming up this summer. So keep an eye out for that. But till then, this is Daniel Wilson. We'll see you next time. Go Crabs. David St. Louis has been a longtime contributor to the sport of ball hockey. He spent over 20 years as a player, a coach, and a leader of the Raleigh ball hockey community. As a player, David's game was focused on speed and stick handling, an attribute that is a prominent part of Raleigh ball hockey. He would travel to many tournaments including Pittsburgh, Ocean City, Maryland, Philadelphia, Tampa, and Las Vegas, bringing in his love for new competition. After his time in tournament play, he would move on to coach players, passing down knowledge to future players, developing them into the best. David would remind players to play with two hands on the stick, shield the ball, and how to take a backhand shot. When the NBHL expanded to include Tier 3, David saw an opportunity for all of Carolina to showcase their talents. He got to play on the Raleigh search with his son, Michael, and watched him score the game-tying goal in the 2022 Divisional Final. His vision led to the Carolina Division, bringing home the Myla Cup twice, including the current champions, Raleigh Squall, for whom he coached. All of the Carolina Division thank Dave for his contribution and dedication to the sport. To honor the one who made it all possible, the Raleigh Ball Hockey League has decided to retire their own trophy, the Carolina Cup, and bring in a new trophy, which will be named the David St. Louis Memorial Trophy. The Carolina Division dedicates the season to the memory of the number three, whose number will be hanging from the rink. From all of us, thank you, Dave.